in the last video called The Hunt for Running Wolf, I told you how the first director of the European Human Rights Commission in Strasbourg, France, was a Swissie by the name of Lucius Wildhaber, whom you can see here together with Mr. Putin. As if Mr. Putin would be sort of interested in human rights. So you see the Swiss flag, and here it says Swiss Lucius Wildhaber. And here's Mr. Putin, and here's some strange looking dude. Here, on August 22nd of this year, 2024, you can see Mr. Putin kissing the Islamic Quran, which is in fact what Russian soldiers are fighting and dying for, so they can be replaced by Muslims after the war. Similarly, as we saw in Western Europe after World War II, where millions of dead Europeans got replaced starting immediately in 1945 by mass Muslim immigration. I mean, we see it happening, people. Open up your eyes. Here, you see Mr. Putin kissing the Quran. First he holds it here. Uh, he's smiling. Look how they're smiling. Yeah, we got them in. The Europeans in our pockets, like, you know. And there, the flash here. Then he kisses the Quran. Here, another flash. And here, from another angle, it says, Putin kisses Quran. Uh, probably a very expensive watch there. This is, in fact, what Adolf meant when he was shouting about Lebensraum. And Lebensraum means space to live. So this space had to be created by forcing the Europeans into a world war. So they would slaughter each other by the millions in order to create space to live and fill the empty space up with millions of Muslims. I mean, this is the undeniable result of World War II. So they must have, or someone must have organized it in order to achieve this goal because things just do not develop spontaneously, do they now? The dumb slaves believed their masters' lies, and still do, and were driven towards total industrial slaughter, like a herd of cattle. Now, we all know very well for whom the Lebensraum was meant we're all being betrayed by Pharaoh's nobility and their Freemason politicians on all key positions. So here again, you see the man kissing the, the Quran. They're all happy. Look how they're smiling. And here it says Lebensraum, which is German, which was one of the main you know, topics of, the, of Adolf. And it means, and his pals, you know, it means in English, space to live. Raum, it means space. And Leben, it means to live or a life. And it happened here, kissing the Quran on August the 22nd of this year, 2024. It's, it's just a few months ago. You know, it's happening now. You know, and it happened before. And every time all this is related to Swissy and their principality of evil, who financed Adolf, financed Hamas, 
through the Swiss UNRWA, who shake hands and conspire with Lily Putin, etc. The Swissies are always there, somehow, somewhere, sometime, always. So this here, shaking hands with Lucius Wildhaber, Mr. Putin, it happened on November the 1st, 2001. So I wonder what happened right after, or maybe just before, which is very important. Well, anyway, from this moment onwards, you know, things got really started to go, to go down, you know. There was the invasion of, um, of Georgia in 2008. In 2008, there was the world economic crisis. You know, remember Switzerland, all the banks, you know, have the, the world's biggest banks. And all banks in the world, anyway, there are Templar banks, you know, Federal Reserve and the, the, the Bank of the Federal Bank of England, the Deutsche Bank, they're all Templar banks, all banks in the world. Because they invented banking and uh, they started it all. So, November the 1st, 2001. From this moment onwards, apparently, you know, things went all down the drain. I already explained to you in my March 2022 video on the Ukraine war that the main goal of the Ukraine war is to have a maximum of dead Russians and dead Ukrainians in order to replace them with Muslims. Just go watch my video here. It's so simple. They always do the same things. So look at history and you'll know that they will do again and again and again forever and ever. And here you can, here's the title. It's on this channel here, and I made it in March 2022, uh, right after the beginning of the Ukraine war. And I explain why this war is there. It's always the same, you know, to kill people. And here on my other channel, Homeland Security, there's even a longer video on the Ukraine war. And Mr. Putin, and here Adolf, whose last name I can't pronounce because because of the censorship. And this video is only eight hours, so wish you a lot of fun. And you can see that in one of my last videos, like this one here, how the machine recognizes words. So it's in this video here, the evil magician's hidden hand of the principality. Here you see the principality, the pyramids and all that. And look, if I scroll down, you see this guy here. You know, at the moment I pronounce the surname, the machine recognizes it. That's why I only say Adolf now. You know, I have to find another anti-censorship vocabulary for, for this guy as well. That's why I use words like Nubians and pink list killers and, and jaywalkers. If you use jaywalkers or the whole catch or outwick, these are also uh, my uh, anti-censorship words. The machine recognizes it and that's even worse. They take the video off immediately, you know. So I don't even recall, you know. Uh, pronouncing his surname here, of this guy here. I don't even recall it. He just pronounced it one time and, and they put this picture of this guy. Here. I don't want this picture of this guy in my video. The video is not even about it. So the machine, you know, they recognize all these words. You know, it, it's total control, it's censorship. This is where we are nowadays, and I just had to find uh, other words, and I'm going to find new wo more words, you know, because um, it's um, we're beating, being treated as children, really. So here Mr. Putin opens the box, 
you know, he's in, look at this here, he's in a sort of uh, Muslim palace of some uh, sultan. Well, the sultan is, in fact, uh, Kadyrov. He's standing here behind, or maybe it's this one. And look, it's a backgammon case again. We saw this before, didn't we? In my uh, video where I explained how uh, Hamas was financed in Swiss Parliament, the, the, uh, the backgammon case. <laughs> I always use backgammon cases for it. So here he opens it, looks at it, and what's he going to do next? And then he turns around to these ones here, and he kisses the uh, the Quran. Look how they're smiling. They're thinking, ah, he's one of us. Look at that. You know. And by the way, I have no problems with Muslims whatsoever. I only have a problem uh, with the ones who are putting peoples and religions and nations up against each other so they will slaughter each other. So again, I have no problems with Muslims. You hear that right? And I was very happy the Muslims were there, the Arabs, when Swissy tried to um, assassinate me a few weeks back. So no problems. Don't take it wrong, guys. And don't forget that Putin and Trump are very good pals. Look, here you see the good friend sitting on a, um, on a Muslim carpet. I'll show you a better picture of it afterwards. And I wonder when uh, Mr. Trump here, uh, Donnie, when he's going to kiss the uh, the Quran, just like this one did. I mean, all these polytricksters, you know. And here he's doing the symbol of the inverse pyramid, which is the pyramid of death. You see, it's like a pyramid, but inversed. It's going down. He's always doing it. They're all, they're all doing occult symbols. They're all occultists. And um, the jaywalkers in Outwick during the whole catch, they were having this on their breasts, you know. Uh, or the, the, the people in Outwick, they, they were having the pyramid of the inverse pyramid of death on the, um, on the left chest where the heart is. And he was always doing it. This is the inverse pyramid of death. That's why he's doing it. They're all d death dealers, both of them. You know? Wars without end. Look, a better picture of the uh, Muslim carpet. You know? why, why didn't he, Mr. Putin, bring out, because this is in Russia, why didn't he bring out the, uh, some Russian carpet instead? You know? But instead of that, you know, he played the game. All the Russians are thinking he's protecting Russia and the Russian people, just like this guy here is doing. You know, it's like a MAGA, make America great again, or make um, the aristocracy golf again. You know, they're all playing a game. But instead of, you know, having uh, things Russian, as he's playing the Russian game, He's, he's kissing the Quran and he's sitting on a Muslim carpet. You know, these politrixes. I don't trust any of them anymore. Due to the censorship, I say outwick and whole catch. So left and right, you see the official outwick inversed triangles of death of the whole catch. The red inversed triangle of death to the right stands for political prisoners like myself, Julian Assange, and many, many others, meaning that the whole catch still goes on. It never stopped. Moreover, if we see Donny here doing the inversed pyramid of death all the time, meaning he wants war, death, and destruction which the pharaonic masters need from time to time as the only effective reset for the slaves to set them back. So the dumb slaves can't develop themselves too much. And a world war, they call it the Great Reset, every time a huge setback for humanity to keep them down. 
On top, you see the US and Russian flags, where Donny and the commie are sitting together on a Muslim carpet to concentrate, to accentuate the Muslim world war coming up, which they call the Muslim Great Reset, which will turn us all into a huge one world, one religion, one government Islamic caliphate, being the perfect aristocratic feudal system, just as Adolf already prophesied, Ein Volk, ein Reich, ein Führer. One people, one empire, one world leader, with Donny and the commie working towards their ideal pharaonic utopia, turning the entire world into one huge Swissy dictatorship of the principality. So here you see the official triangles of death of Outwick, of the whole catch. And this here to the, um, to the right here on this um, Outwick shirt, the red inverse triangle of death, and it, uh, it is for political prisoners. And it's all related to Pharaoh and the pyramids. Uh, here you see Donny doing this all the time. And of course his pal, the commie on the other side, uh, attached to this Russian flag, he knows exactly what he is transmitting. You know, all these symbols, they know this. That's why they do it. Like Merkel, Merkel, Angela Merkel, the, uh, the former Bundeskanzler of Germany, uh, Erdogan, uh, they all do it, you know, and especially him. And every time he's showing it. And the red tie, in fact, it stands for the nobility, which is them. Sometimes they have a blue tie for the war. And he has that a lot as well. So here it says, the inverse pyramid of death. You know, the Nazis won the war, people. The Germans lost the war. And this, it's still going on and going on and going on. You know, we, we must stop these horizontal wars between peoples and nations and religions and, race, and races. We need a vertical war, you know to get rid of all these warmongers, you know, a vertical war against our masters. We have to stop the horizontal wars among, among each other. And look at the, uh, the Freemason shake, and look how Donny is giving his pal, you know, of the brotherhood, he's giving him the Freemason shake with the little finger here on the pulse. This is what they do, people. You see it, and he's pushing so hard, you can see it on, the, uh, on his shirt here. You know, see all the uh, the rimples here. It's the Freemason shake. Look at that. You know, they're all in the same brotherhood. And here, once more, you see the index finger, you know, moving towards the, the poles. So it just came from there, you know. All in the brotherhood of the principality. And in the middle... Of all this, we see Swissy and their Lucius Wildhaber here, whose country financed Adolf, the Hamas, UNRWA, tried to assassinate me, and the Swissies happen to be always on all key positions in the world, like the European Court of Human Rights which nowadays is called the Council of Europe. So here it says, the European Court of Human Rights. He was 20 years, he was the director, or the, how they call it, the Secretary General. And this is what the name was before. So when he was shaking hands with Putin, he was still the director of the European Court of Human Rights. Eh? And... The name now is the Council of Europe. And guess who a few days ago, on September the 18th of this year, 2024, became its new Secretary General of the Council of Europe. Yes, of course, as usual, another Swissy again. 
by the name of Alain Berset. So here you can see this. Here it says the sun stands for Horus. I explained you this in many of my videos, and especially the last one on the hidden hand of the magician. So here in gold, of course, this is the sun. You know, on this level, there are no coincidences. Forget about that. Eh? So this rep represents the sun. So my guess is he's very dangerous. And before he was one of the, uh, the seven heads of the beast. And here it says, new secretary general. So he's a general. Look how he's standing here, like a general. The new secretary general of the Council of Europe. And um, the other one before was um, Lucius Wildhaber and probably many other Swissies in between. So here you see him walking with the Swiss guard. It says Swiss Alain Berset, per set out of the uh, etymologically out of the demotic pharaonic. A per, so it means the house of Seth. Per Seth. And look at these faces, you know, clean Switzerland. Look at it. I remember how I told you the cotton industry, you know, it was all uh, in Switzerland, ruled by the um, by some very powerful Swiss uh, houses, uh, who finally founded the uh, the Credit Suisse Bank. And so there's a lot of blood, you know, sticking on these nice clothes and nice and clean. But look at their faces, you know, look at these faces and this. Uh, is it nice? Nice, clean and innocent Switzerland. Eh? I got the intel announced through this great comment under my last video, the hunt for running wolf it says the hunt for running wolf it's on the same channel it's from october 18th just a few days ago i wonder why there are so not so few views probably because of the shadow banning i guess that this video they really don't want you to see and there's also a lot of people who don't get a notification i heard so there she is here Laurence Desombre, yeah, Alain Bercy. So, thanks, Laurence. Merci, Laurence. T'as as bien fait de me dire. Et ici, donc, le direct résultat de ta collaboration. C'est ainsi qu'on doit travailler ensemble et de s'entre soutenir pour combattre l'ennemi. Mes salutations révolutionnaires. So, I can guarantee you, if the intel or the information is not from myself directly and from somebody else, I will show you this. Otherwise, all the information I'm telling you here, it's by me and from me. And if it isn't, I'll be honest with you. I'll always be honest with you and I'll show it. Uh, gratitude to this person and honor to this person because this is very important. Thank you, Laurence. Merci beaucoup. So this here, Laurence, it's the uh, intel that Laurence uh, gave me. Wildhaber, the Swiss in Strasbourg, or Strasbourg, yesterday. Alain Berset, the other Swiss in Strasbourg, today. As Secretaire General du Conseil de l'Europe. Conseil de l'Europe, it means the uh, European um, the Council and uh, the Council of Europe. And um, so with this intel, I could add my information to it and make this uh, video. So here he is, Baldi and Alain Perset. So here it says, Alain Perset, French pro pronunciation. Well, the, I, I prefer the demotic pharaonic pronunciation, if you don't mind, Berset. The French pro pronunciation would be Bercé. The Swiss Germans, who are most of the Swiss, are Swiss Germans. They also say the uh, demotic pharaonic uh, pronunciation, Berset. Of course they do, right? So 
is a Swiss politician. You see, he's Swiss. And he served as a member of the Swiss Federal Council. Well, the Federal Council is where the seven heads of state are. He was one of the seven heads of the beast. Uh, and they have seven presidents, actually, in Switzerland. So, well, you can read the rest yourself. Just look it up here in the uh, Wikipedia. That's why I like Wikipedia for these sort of things, you know. So, it's quite correct. So, here, it says here, you see the uh, symbol here. I'll tell you some more about it later on. And here it says, the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. Now, there he is again. So, he's this, it's a very high position, very high. It says, Alain Bercy, Alain Perset. And it all happens, the, the Secretary General is entrusted with the responsibility of meeting the aim for which the Council of Europe, yeah, that's where it is. He's, Switzerland is not even part of the European community. Strasbourg is where the European community, the head office next to Brussels, where they are. But what is the Swiss doing there? Well, I told you, they rule over the European uh, community. They give all the orders. They, they are on all key positions of the European community. So here, I punch it. Yeah, there we go, the Council of Europe. And uh, it says, the Council of Europe, in French, Conseil de l'Europe, is an international organization, they even, inter you know, of course, they're international, with the goal of upholding human rights. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> well, they're funny, isn't it? Democracy, well, we know, I told you what democracy is. Democracy is just a system of the uh, the horizontal rule and uh, where the slaves can uh, can choose another aristocrat it's just a new aristocratic system of the nobility before they had the vertical rule of the king there was no voting and now they've got the horizontal republican rule there's no democracy for the people you know we just choose another aristocrat of the nobility, of Pharaoh's nobility, to be the king or president. You know, none of us will be democratically elected. This is what the democracy consists of. You know that we democratically uh, elect another pharaonic uh, aristocrat, and the rule of law. Uh, they call it the rule of law. It's a rule, like with a the ruler, they hit you if you don't, you know, if you don't obey. Like, you know, it's probably where it comes from. And um, well, there was something else I wanted to show you. There's the symbol again. They're all the. Uh, oh, you see, Switzerland is a member of the Council of Europe. Well, isn't that funny? You know, even Turkey is. How does that go? Is that part of Europe? Well, I mean, there, there are about 10 million Turks in Europe, so, and they are Europeans, they got European passports, you know, and uh, so, so what well, here it says, uh, Alain Bercy, there he is, part of his baldy head again. He's the secretary general, secretary general, and uh, so he's a general, you know, behaving like a general, a Swiss general, for the for the Human Rights Commission in Europe. Well, isn't that a joke, isn't it? They finance UNRWA, Adolf, uh, Mr. Adolf, and the rest, drug dealers with their banks, tax evasion, you name it. Uh, and a Swiss is supposed to be the uh, the top manager of the uh, the human rights. Isn't that laughable? The Swiss Secretary General Perset looks like he's straight out of a James Bond movie, like Ernst Blofeld 
from the 1963 film From Russia With Love. Traditionally, like all Bond movies, playing in the Alps off Switzerland with snow-topped mountains, where Ernst Blofeld, with his Swiss-German name, wants to rule the world out of his Alpine base. And these pictures are genuine pictures of Alan Perset, even this one here, and this one too. It looks like it's a picture behind. No, it isn't. It's probably because of the lambs, you know, of the um, taking a picture or a video. And he, he took a voyage like uh, to the um, in the inner Switzerland, where in 1291, it's called the Rudli, where they did the, uh, the Templar Oath of three cantons, uh, Uri, Nidwalden, and the canton of Schwitz where Switzerland was founded. So they are genuine pictures, you know, and he looks like Ernst Blofeld, really. So here it says, it's a par my parody. So it says, from Switzerland, without love, Alan Perset as Ernst Blofeld. That's the real, it's the same story, really. So here you can see the, the real Ernst Blofeld from the 1963 Bond movie with the white cat. Remember, maybe some of you have seen it. And here, the Swiss ship, just like before. And the Swiss mountains here. And it's the same story. It's the same picture as the one before. And it's the same story about ruling the world from the Alpine mountains. A movie showing the absolute reality of how the Alpine Principality works. And remember that Ian Fleming, the James Bond author, lived and studied in Lausanne, Switzerland, at the, sa at the same time with the Prince of Darkness, Bernhard, and Alistair Crowley, who all lived in the Blofeld principality at the very same time. The Bond movie about Ernst Blofeld, who wants to rule the world out of his Alpine principality, is not fiction, but a reality, as in fact many movies are. Only we must learn to understand the hidden reality behind Pharaoh's motion pictures and the messages they transmit mostly to themselves. So here you see the Ernst Blofeld out of the 1963 movie. Here they did a, a remake with Ernst Blofeld a couple of years later, or maybe it was from the same movie. And here you see Perset from the house of Seth. And here it says, the Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly. And here you got this weird symbol. I should have a closer look at it. I hope that my teachings will help humanity towards that goal and pierce through the occult mist of invisibility. Mr. Per Set from the house of Seth, the Lord of Darkness, went to school with princes and future kings in the Alpine Principality. He was one of the seven heads of the beast in the Alps and now occupies a very important and very powerful post in the world as being the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. So might he be the one the religious people are looking for, as it has been announced 2,000 years ago. So here it says, Perset, as in the name of the guy, Alain Perset. And here it says, the house of Set or Seth is the lord of the underworld, the lord of darkness, like the equivalent of the devil, so to speak. 
And here is the logo of the, um, the Council of Europe. And of course, we all see it's a sex, you know, as these guys, these evil ones, apparently, they put everything like reverse speeds and upside down. Well, if you flip it up like this is under and it goes up, you just flip it up, turn it around 180 degrees, well, you get a six, you know, like this. It's a six. So, might he be the one? So, the new Secretary General's name, Berset, comes out of the demotic, pharaonic words Per and Set. Per set. Per means the house, as in a royal house or aristocratic lineage or bloodline, where etymologically the pharaoh is from, from per a, meaning the big house, the big royal house of all worldwide pharaohs together. And Set or Seth is the Egyptian lord of the underworld. Well, they both look a bit like from the underworld here. And this is a genuine picture of Mr. Perset. You can look it up yourself. It's, it's a true picture. He's walking around like this in the streets and all. So I must say the whole thing gets extremely creepy. I do say. And as his name Perset comes out of the Egyptian Per Set, for the house of Set, three years ago, I made this six hour video on Mr. Per Set on my other channel, as you can see here, Homey Land Security. And this video gets even more important now with Mr. Per Set here having become the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. Moreover, seeing poor Julian Assange going to that very same Council of Europe in Strasbourg, France, on October the 1st, 2024, hoping for justice, not knowing that everything is under Swiss control. The Council of Europe is Donald Trump being Swiss German from his paternal side. That's why he never pardoned uh, Julian Assange while he was in Belmarsh. The UN and its world government in Geneva totally under Swiss control, as everything else is. So here you see it. You see the Assange on October the 1st, 2024. The Council of Europe with their reverse six here. I wonder where the other two sixes are. They must be here somewhere. Maybe they left them in Switzerland. Here it says the new manager. And again, this is a true picture of Perset. Here's the new, the new manager coming up. Well, he's already there, actually. England being a vertical rule kingdom before now has to take orders from the horizontal rule USA and horizontal rule Switzerland, thus clearing the road to Belmarsh High Security Prison or worse, rendered to America. I have to explain the image to you. Here you see the kingdom. You know, he's losing its crown. And these people know it, you know, what's going on. So the, uh, the king lost his crown. There's no more vertical rule feudal system. So here it says Great Britain. And he's being kept by the tail and he's all skinny, you know. And here it says United States. And here it says the sun. And this, why, this is why I put the Swiss flag here, because Switzerland, as I told you, is the mother of the horizontal system. They won over the vertical rule system. And America is the son. A Switzerland is the mother. France is the father. 
and the JJ Bays in the Middle East of the Jaywalkers is the, is the grandson or the granddaughter of this horizontal rule system. And this is why, you know, the UK had to keep Julian Assange in a high security prison for all these years. Normally, the UK wouldn't have done it, but they're being kept by the tail, by the horizontal rule, with these ones behind it. And now these ones, they have their secretary general being the new manager uh, of the um, of, of that um, human rights thing in Strasbourg. Someone please get this information to Julian because this intel might save his life. Here you can see the video from Pacha TV themselves from October the 1st, 2024, when Julian Assange was there. Pacha stands for Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. And Pacha means peace in Italian. <laughs> Bloody jokers they are. I was there 23 years ago, also asking for justice, with this other Swissy, Lucius Wildhaber, being the director or secretary general, as the jokers call themselves. So now, 23 years later, I was there 23 years ago. Now, 23 years later, you know, they are here. You know, you see them smiling here in the video, this video here, hoping for peace or injustice. Well, mate, you're not going to get justice. It's their system. We have to skip their system, make our own system, make our own words, anti-censorship words, do it ourselves. You know, it's not going to work. It's their system. It doesn't work. And here it says the, um, yeah, the patch, it means Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Wow, that sounds nice and expensive, doesn't it? And look at the logo, all the circles. Well, a circle is the compass. And here you see a lot of squares in this one here. So it does say square and compass. It has four letters for the concept of four, which stands for the square. And the circle is the concept of three. So it said concept, concept of four and three. It says square and compass all over. So, mate, you really think you're going to get justice? Forget it. Forget it. And look at it. It's the setup. It's all the same. It's the same as this here. It's all in circles. And the circles is the concept of three, which is them. It's the side of the pyramid. Uh, you know, the, the triangle, which is the three, the concept of three, which is them, the hierarchy. So, and we are the four, you know, four, Pacha. That, that's us, you know. So, and Pacha actually means if the slaves are at war, like with the inverse pyramid of, uh, of death, you know, if the, the, the dumb slaves are at war with, with each other, you know, then we, the masters, we have peace. This is what it means, you know. So it's, it's really cynical here that they, they write peace uh, with four letters for the, uh, for, the, for the slaves, you know. It's very cynical. So go and see this video. It's interesting, you know, to see what's going on. And the media, you know, this is another sign, you know, mate, you're not going to get any <clears throat> justice or peace in your life anymore unless you stay very, very quiet from now on. And, and don't leave Australia anymore, mate. So that the media or the, um, I call them the triple M, the mega masters media, um, they didn't. They didn't. They hardly talked about it, you know, on on YouTube, on the, in the media. They didn't talk about this, you know. I found it by accident, actually. So, no justice, people. You know, it's their setup. 
it's against us. You know, the bloody jokers with their patches for peace. And here you can see some more Swiss jokers who sincerely believe that Germany belongs to them by painting a Swiss flag into the red part of the flag of Germany. It's not even a joke. For the Swiss jokers, the biggest joke is that it is true, which really makes them laugh their heads off. Just as with movies, they tell us about some reality, their agenda, or how our future is going to look like. When I was still in Switzerland, I always heard the Swissies call Germany the big canton in Germany, der große Kanton. As if all Swissies knew that Germany belongs to Switzerland, being under total control of the Swissies. You know, they're everywhere. Even the, uh, the director of the Deutsche Bank, the German bank, was a Swissie. And here you see it's, uh, black, red, and yellow is the German flag. And, th and they just put a Swiss cross in it, you know. And in fact, it's true, you know. And um, it's not even a lie. So here again, you see uh, William Tell. Well, who never existed. It's, it's a story about from uh, Friedrich Schiller, the, uh, the author. And here it says, Der große Kanton, the big canton. So they see Germany as, as the big canton. I, I told you about it, uh, that around Switzerland, after the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648, 95% um, 90, of the peoples, they were all murdered by Swiss mercenaries, or in some places even more, whole towns disappeared. And then they, uh, they, they, they resettled uh, the, the, with the, uh, the Swiss Germans from the mountains in these region, regions, making a buffer zone all around Switzerland. You know, and from one of these buffer zones, uh, Donny, his father is from there, from the Swiss Palatines, from a town called Kalstadt. From his mother's side, he's from a, a line of uh, Nordic uh, kings. So here again, you see the, um, the German flag, black, red, and yellow. And they just boldly put a Swiss cross in it. Eh? And the Swiss cross actually is the inverse Templar's cross. The Templar's cross is red. And this is the Hospitallers. And the Hospitallers, they took all the wealth officially and legally from the Knights Templars, as the Knights Templars were forbidden. So all the wealth and all the money and all the banks of the Knights Templars, they went into the Hospitallers. And the Hospitallers, they have a white cross on a red underground. There you go. The principality from the Alps and the world government rule the entire world, where other governments are merely subsidiaries to the main principality and Pharaoh's base. So here you can see Mr. Perset's Blofeld, House of Seth. Here you see the Alps. The flag, here's another flag, the Swiss flag of the Principality. I can't read what it says here. So and here it says the Principality in the Alps and its worldwide subsidiaries. So this was the first horizontal rule republic in history from 1291. The Swissies always say it, we are the first democracy in the world the slaves being proud of it but well there's no democracy for the slaves for us there's only democracy for our masters that we can elect democratically one of the masters to be the, the president like so all the other governments and republics in the world they are subsidiaries of the main principality in the alps therefore 
at the main subsidiary of the principality called USA, standing for United Subsidiary of America. You'll see another weird occult artwork in front of the LAPD, that's Los Angeles Police Department, building of four steel bikes for the concept of four and eight round wheels for the compass or concept of three. Altogether saying square and compass. This worldwide Freemason army in blue for the war crown of Pharaoh, their war crown uniforms are a menace to humanity, which all comes out of its main Templar principality in the Alps. They should put their lazy donut bumps on these steel bikes, really, instead of cruising in their mighty V8s looking for potential police victims the whole day. Apparently, the monument of the four bikes was dedicated to a certain Ronald F. Deaton, with all the dumb slaves thinking that Mr. Deaton must have been a gold medal Olympic champion on, on a bicycle and a true American hero. The moment they show the middle name, though, you should know there's something wrong, like Donald F. Deaton here, or John F. Kennedy. J. Edgar Hoover, Donald J. Trump, because they don't do that for a dumb slave on a bicycle, do they now? Giving three names or a middle name, a middle initial. Even here, with the three names, they show the concept of three, which is them, the hierarchy or hierarchy in American English and side of the pyramid with three triangular corners, while the concept of four is us, the square at the bottom of the pyramid, with four corners or four bicycles for the slaves, at ground level, and a triple name on a higher level. So it says concept of three and four, that stands for square and compass. There are four bicycles. I mean, what policeman goes around on a bicycle? eh? Why bicycles? Why not Chevys? Chevy V8s, four of them or something, yeah? And here you see the LAPD here. And here it says, Ronald F. Deaton. Well, why the F? His name is Ronald Deaton. For a slave, it would be just Ronald Deaton, isn't it? Well, the moment you see like the second initial, like F here, you know there's something terribly wrong, you know, it's one of them. So the four is the concept of four. And I tell it again for the uh, for the newcomers. Uh, we have here square and compass. A square has four corners. So this, there are four bikes. So this says square. And the wheel, I mean, that's a compass. With a compass, you can make this round thing here. You know, it's all a cult, you know, our masters. So here you can see them together, Donnie and Swissy, as it says here, Donnie and in between the flags and Swissy. And of course, Swissy here, Mr. Perset from the House of Seth, he knows exactly what this means here, the inverse pyramid of death. That's why he has the blue war tie. And he has all he has the red aristocratic tie. And they were meeting at the WEF, the World Economic Forum, with a compass here, a circle. Because the compass is the concept of three, and it's them, our masters. You know. We might see the square here in the flag, or here in the in this here. 
So they put it here, the square, and here's the circle. So it says square and compass. So there we go. Donnie and Swissy doing their occult symbols, their occult signs. The inverse, Donnie is doing the inverse pyramid of death. And Perset is walking around with the war tie. Donnie and Swissy at the WEF. Happy together.